Oh hey, I didn't see you there. <sighs> PNA. This is what I get for trying to film a funny intro. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I told you that I didn't have a filming schedule because I'm lazy. <laughs> but today's video is going to be fun. It's one I love doing on the channel because it's super easy to film. It's interesting and I used to love watching these. I still love watching them, just not as often. But we are going to go inside of my bag. So a little bit about the bag. This is a Michael Kors bag. It's one of the Jet Set totes. If I can find this one, I'll have it linked down below. My mom actually purchased this for me, I believe, from Macy's. Yeah. But this was actually the tote bag that I used for the first part of my student teaching until I got my birthday present, which was my Louis Vuitton on the go tote. And that one was so much better for student teaching, but it's a little bit big for like an everyday tote bag, so I may have to, I don't really want a Neverfull because everyone has one of those, but eventually I'm going to have to invest in a good quality, like high quality everyday tote. But until then, this works really well. This is what I've been carrying to work. I have a vlog and also like a what I've been doing video that kind of explains this, but Teaching jobs are kind of hard to come by right now, so in the mornings I have been an employee temp screener at my mom's medical office that she works at. She doesn't own it. And then in the evenings I'm an educator assistant at a local elementary school. Ironically, the one I went to elementary school to. And that basically means, you know, like we take care of the kids. They do their snack, we help them with homework, they go outside, stuff like that. It's really fun. I enjoy it. I'm thinking of actually going back and getting like a degree in elementary education. So then that way I could do secondary and or elementary. But I'm re really leaning toward elementary because I'm really clicking with the kids. But anyway, enough rambling. I have a whole bunch of crap in here. I'm interested to get it sorted out. So let's dive in see the bag has three pockets i know i don't have anything in this zip pocket but it's kind of padded i don't think a full macbook will fit in there but if you have like an ipad that can fit in there or like a smaller i don't even think my surface fit in there so probably just like an ipad or if you want to keep anything protected that's small but we'll start in the back here so it's got a zipper and the only thing I have in there is the little Michael Kors booklet that it came with. I always like to keep that stuff in case I end up selling my bags that way like I have as much of the original stuff as possible so people know that it's real and also that adds like value to it in a way. And then it's got two slip pockets on the back here. Oh my gosh, Penny, figure it out. Where do you want to go? As I was saying, this has two slip pockets. I don't have anything in this one. But on the other side, I have this bad boy. I just recently got this when I'm outside taking temps. When there's no one through, I can read and then look at my phone and stuff. And I read most of the time, but then sometimes I don't feel like reading so I've got this bad boy like I just said this is a Nintendo DS Lite I found it on eBay for a super good deal it came with a case and everything and I've got Style Savvy in there which is a game that I used to play all the time as a kid I mean it encompasses my two loves fashion and gaming so I have to have it and I love playing it don't judge me and then on this side this is the only thing I hate about this, is the Game Boy Advance game sticks out. But I have Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue, which I also found on eBay. A random seller was selling it, and I got it. I played that all the time as a kid as well. I love Hamtaro. I have a bunch of the little figurines on one of my shelf, shelves. So I keep that with me. 
just in case. And then we'll go through this big pocket. I'll pull out the biggest thing. I've actually finished reading this, but I wanted to put it in for this video. So this was the only stage thing, I promise. But I have Val Kilmer's memoir, I'm Your Huckleberry. I just finished reading it on Monday. It's so good. It was so good. It was very informative. I love learning more about him because he is like my favorite actor. Clearly, I loved him in Tombstone. I have a whole bunch of Tombstone stuff. I've done Tombstone videos. But I love all of his movies. Well, not all of them. I haven't seen all of them. But all of his movies that I've watched, I love. But it was really informative. He talks about a bunch of his iconic movies. And since I pre-ordered the book, I actually got a autograph plate. I think that's what it's called. Although I sent it the foreman twice because I didn't think the first one went through. So I ended up with two of these. So I got two Val Kilmer signatures. I ain't mad about it. But he's just got like pictures and stuff on the inside and talks about his life. So I really enjoyed this. Very inspiring. Even though I'm not an actor, it was still inspiring to go chase your dreams and everything. So definitely pick this up. I'll have a link down below cannot talk enough about that. That's like one of my prized possessions right now. And then this is the book that I'm currently reading. It's called Good Girls Lie. And I started this on Monday. It's now Wednesday and I'm this far into it. So it's really good. I kind of have a grasp on what's going on. Like it's kind of a suspense murder mystery kind of thing. I've had a little bit of a grasp on what's going on and I've been able to deduce a few things going on but some of them just like what is happening so got that and then yay there's a bunch of crap okay um I've got a bag of candy corn my mom gave this to me because at her work they do like secret pals and someone they gave her candy corn so she just gave it to me and I'm probably going to ration these out like by servings for me and then give the rest to my stepdad because he likes he actually last night he was talking about that he wanted candy corn so that's for him I'm not going to put that back in my bag and then the rest on this side I've got random paper so we'll go through this so I have a return slip for UPS, a return slip for UPS, a return slip for UPS. I have my uh, supervisor's business card for my temp checker job. I have a compliance quiz that I had to take for my job. This was the one that I missed in my orientation. And then, what is this? I went to Best Buy and had my computer looked at because my USB drive didn't want to work. Turned out it was just the adapter that I have. But they went ahead and did like a full screening check on it. So the money wasn't for nothing. So... I want to keep this and put it in my laptop case that way if I ever need it. That is this back side of the bag. Like I said, I don't have anything in the zipper compartment, but it's not that big. So, like I said, you could probably fit an iPad in there. So now, we'll go to this side. First thing I pulled out is my mask because of the times we live in, but I'll put it on. Isn't it pretty? This mask I got on Natalia, Natalia, Natalie, Natalie Mills Jewelry. I have it, I'll have that website linked down below. There are a bunch of masks like this on there. I love this mask this is the best one that I own that I've bought it has a filter in it so it's actually breathable 
and I get a lot of compliments on it and the little girls at my school love when I wear it so love this super glad that I bought that even if like all this goes away we don't have to wear masks again like it's still I love it next I've got my little Louis Vuitton cosmetic case I've had this forever. This has been probably in all of my What's in My Bag videos. I have the same stuff in here that I've always had. Just a couple of new things though. I have anti-itch cream because where I sit outside taking temperatures, mosquitoes like to buzz about. And when I forget to put bug spray on, I get tons and tons of mosquito bites. So this helps when they start itching so I don't look like a wild person just scratching myself all over because that would be weird and then I've got hand cream hand cream from Bath and Body Works this is the strawberry pound cake hand cream this scent is amazing I love it it's a little too sweet for my mom she put it on she was like that is rich it smells just like a cake, but it smells more like the icing, like buttercream icing, than a strawberry pound cake. But I love it. It's super good. And I can tell you that the scent is good because one of my little girls hugged me the other day and she said, you smell good. And I had this on, so I can confirm that scent smells good. And you know, children don't lie. And then I've got Carmex. I love that stuff. I'm addicted to it. And then in the back, I have this stuff ugh, from my little first aid kit that I got with my orientation packet that's in my vlog. I'll have it in the cards if you haven't seen it, but it had band-aids in it. I've already used a couple of them. An antiseptic towel, insect sting relief pad. I keep forgetting that that's in there. I need to use that when next time I get a mosquito bite. That would be smart. An alcohol cleansing pad, hydrocortisone cream, so if I run out of the anti-itch medicine, I have more. Um, lip balm, so if I run out of my Carmex, I have more. Uh, instant hand sanitizer, so if I run out of the hand sanitizer in my bag that I'll sh show you in a minute triple antibiotic ointment and first aid and burn cream so got all that back there and the little there's a little pocket so I put that back there I have a receipt okay that's what this is when I went to pick up my computer I was it was fall break at school and the kids were rambunctious and I was having like an off day. It was crazy. I was like, I need Val Kilmer in my life. So I went and bought Top Gun. That's my receipt for it. And it, I flew it off the bed. That's great. Oh no. You're not gonna come in? Might be in in a minute. So that's what that is. I've got a straw wrapper. I have my keys here and another Louis Vuitton item. Hmm. I'm not trying to flex, I promise. It looks like I am, but I'm not. But these are my keys. They're kind of boring now, but I mean, I've got this on there, so. In here, I have my driver's license, my concealed carry permit. Um, insurance, insurance, social security card, voters registration card, go vote people, it's important, um, debit card, credit card, credit card, and cash. There she is. Penny, you can't be doing this. Okay, is, that is not the only thing. I've got my sunglasses I think I've had these before in what's in my bag video I'll put them on Duh. these are my key Australia and Desi Perkins high key 
sunglasses. I got these when that collection first came out. So, yeah, the case is disgusting. I've spilled either coffee or hot chocolate on it. I don't know what that is. But I just love these because how big they are. I've had... What are you doing? I've had Ray-Ban aviators but even like the oversized ones weren't big enough for me and they looked weird on my face but these flatter me i love these so i need a new case because this one is disgusting and i hate using it but oh well and then so that's all that's in the slip pocket or in the that po open pocket so now there's like three little slip pockets on this side there's like two big ones and then one small one that like you can put lipstick in or I keep pens because why not so I've got a pen for the department that I used to work at over at my college as a GA you know I rep them I enjoyed that part of my schooling and I enjoyed student teaching but there's some parts of that that I didn't enjoy but I'll talk about that later and then I've got a pen that I got in my orientation and it's got a stylus on this side and then how you actually click it is you have to press that part I showed this to my mom she was like I didn't get one of those pens so probably when I'm done with that job I'll end up giving her this pen I mean it's really pretty but I mean she's gonna work there longer than I my job at that place is contingent on however long the Magnus wants to stay and I'll just leave it at that here's a hand sanitizer I was talking about uh, this is from Walmart I just keep this in my bag I've got some in my car I've got like two in my car I don't know but this is about empty I, I've got more though and last but not least I actually do have my phone in there I got a new phone if you haven't seen my vlog my Samsung I had the Samsung Galaxy S8 I have had that thing when did I first get that that isn't the one that I originally had because it broke so then I couldn't do an insurance on it so I had to use one of my mom's old iPhones which was a piece of crap too and then I had enough money for the insurance so then I got another Galaxy and then I've had that one until I got this one and the Galaxy that I had for some reason the battery just it disappeared it would drain faster if I didn't use it than if I used it so I would constantly have to have a battery pack with it and I need my phone in case of an emergency and you know this is how I communicate with my bosses and everything so I just it was, it was time so I got the iPhone 11 in the lavender color lilac I don't know what color it is it's it's purple and then I've got like a sparkly clear case on it and Zazzy is my background and I've got some texts from my mom and then my little honey bun as I call her is my background on my phone is that everything I think that's everything there's like some like crumbs at the bottom but we won't worry about those so I finally cleaned that out so there's definitely some stuff that won't be going back in there but yeah I'm glad I have that out of the way because I've got a new bag coming that I will probably be using depending on if it's big enough to use day to day I think it will be though I'll have an unboxing for that it's supposed to come today I don't know if it'll come later or when that's supposed to come hello do you want to say hi say hi say hi she's purring this is my little honey bun 
So that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Stick around for more in the future whenever I decide to film them. I've got some other videos planned, but some of them require research and then some of them require a will for me to film them. And then one of them requires that my item get here. So I should have at least three new videos in the future. I'm just saying in the future. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Stick around for more videos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I also have my social media links listed on the screen if you want to follow me on any of them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it with me.